So, my name is J.P. Ruiz, and the story begins back in 1985. I was around six years old. Um, there had just been a huge earthquake down in Chile. Uh, my father had decided to make his way to New York and um, hadn't seen him in a long, long time. So, my mom and I decided to take off and make our way to the States. Now, it's a, it's a pretty long journey from, from Chile. It's a long way down, and it took us... Um, about a year, in which time we, we took off, somehow took a flight to Colombia, got to Guatemala. We were put in jail for two weeks. Um, my mom was put in jail. I was put in the kids' home, and then we were reunited um, after, after a couple a couple weeks. Um, we then lived in a pension for about six months, trying to figure out a way to cross into Mexico. Uh, we tried once, twice, three times unsuccessfully. Um, and we tried again, and then we eventually got to Mexico. We took a bus all the way to the north, to about the Tijuana border. At this point, God knows how many miles we had been traveling, but my mother um, was alone. She was 26 at the time, and I was a six-year-old boy, a handful at that. And um, we made our way to the States, uh, crossed the border twice. And uh, the last time I remember running through a beach uh, down in Blyas, and I was, I think I was naked, and uh, I remember the coyote telling us to all get together and jump in a, in a circle when we saw a helicopter fly, and we did that a, a bunch of times. I, I just remember small random memories of uh, being scared, and eventually I jumped into a car, woke up in a motel somewhere in San Diego, and we were finally in the States. Um, that was 20 years ago. And what's interesting is I think that story has repeated itself so much. And the kind of effect that it had on the community back where we were from was huge. We went back later, 10 years later, and you know, people didn't recognize me, and it was just this really emotional gathering. And it affected the community that we arrived to because we were received by people from the same country that we were from. And there's such a human element to the story of immigration that is sometimes hidden beneath the surface of uh, rhetoric and political jargon. But um, my mom works in a library as a librarian. I um, teach youth media and go to school. We are the first generation. I am the first generation um, in this country trying to get ahead. And I 